Today, a big question revolves around the globe. Why does the Muslim population lag behind in medicals, mathematics and other science and technological fields? Wanna know how was our past? Come, let us explore the era of Muslim Golden Age. Here are the past Europeans trying to study the theories and research done by the Muslim scientists and scholars. For the Europeans, it was a dark age, but for Muslims, it was a golden age. Now, let us have a look at those Muslim scientists who had created the history of golden era once upon a time. We all know the importance of algebra today. Without learning algebra, an engineer is not an engineer, an architect is not an architect. And the founder of such a great subject was Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khawarizmi. Yes, a Muslim, the scholar who began writing his algebraic theory books with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, a fantastic educationalist and a research-oriented Muslim who was titled as the father of algebra. Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khawarizmi was not just a mathematician but also an astronomer and geographer without whose dedication we would not have a reason to be proud for being Muslims who also had contribution towards educational field Alhamdulillah Abu Abdullah Muhammad al-Idrisi the Muslim geographer, scientist, writer, cartographer and Egyptologist who lived in Sicily at the court of King Roger II. Can you imagine a life without map? Yes, of course, we would not be able to travel other parts of the globe. But Alhamdulillah, Al-Idrisi's invention made it easier. The first man who took an interest in studying the world's different location and designing the world map. Yes, a Muslim again. Aye. एक और मुसलमान साइंटिस्ट की तरफ नजर डालते हैं जिन्हें आज दुनिया ने भुला दिया है द फिजिशियन हु डेडिकेटेड हिस्स टाइम इन द डिस्कवरी ऑफ पल्मोनरी ब्लड सर्कुलेशन एंड दैट इज नन अदर देन इब्न अल नफीस Ibn al-Nafis was an Arab physician who made several contributions to the early knowledge of the pulmonary circulation. was a remarkable physician of Islamic golden age and deserves to be better known. Now, let's learn something about astrolabe, an instrument that was invented to make astronomical measurements typically of the altitudes of celestial bodies and in navigation for calculating latitude. The term astrolabe was derived from its inventor named Maria Musturlabi 
a 10th century female Muslim astronomer. Without her contribution, we would not know about the applications of compass or the direction. We all know about Avicenna, but many of us do not know that Avicenna was a changed name. The real name of Avicenna was Ibn Sina. Persian polymath was regarded as one of the most significant physicians, astronomer, thinkers and the writer of Islamic Golden Age. He has been described as father of early modern medicine, father of clinical pharmacology and also father of geology. आइए अभी हम चलते हैं उस मुसलमान साइंसदान की तरफ जिन्हें फादर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री कहा जाता है और उनका नाम है जाबिर इब्न हयान वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज में जाबिर को गेबर के नाम से जाना जाता है Jabir ibn Hayyan is also an author of a variety of works in Arabic, often called the Jabir in Corpus. Alhamdulillah, he was the one who invented many of the basic processes and equipments still used by the chemists today. Do you know who was that Arab Muslim physician who was also a surgeon and a chemist? He is none other than Al-Zahrawi. Allah, a Muslim who was considered as greatest surgeon of Middle Ages and has been described as father of surgery. One of the early leading surgeries was performed by Al-Zahrawi with the help of cord made from the intestines of sheep and goat as a thread for internal stitches. We all have travelled to other countries and today one of the fascinating means of transportation is an aeroplane. We all know that it was Wright brothers who invented aeroplane. But from whom did Wright brothers grab the idea of this invention? Here is an interesting story of Abbas ibn Firnas, a Muslim inventor and a golden age engineer whose practical experiments inspired Wright brothers after many years. He invented the wings that could keep an object flying in the air.
unfortunately he failed many times but he did not lose hope continued gaining knowledge out of his mistakes and developed his ideas and finally people were surprised to learn that this man was the first to fly with the heavier than air machine staying in flight for about 10 minutes and he did this more than a thousand years before the right brothers subhanallah